بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه كما يحب ربنا ويرضاه أما بعد Last lesson we began المسألة الثالثة The third issue We said the third issue is comprised of three parts We spoke about the first part which was زمن الاعتكاف The time and duration for اعتكاف We are going to speak now inshallah in this lesson about the last two parts mustahabbatu the recommended acts of fast of the i'tikaf wa ma yubahu lil mu'takif and the things which are allowed for the mu'takif to do while he's performing the i'tikaf so let's start with the mustahabbat the recommended acts of i'tikaf mustahabbatu its recommended acts wal i'tikaf fi ibadatin yakhlu fiha al 'abdu bi khaliqihi i'tikaf is an act of worship whereby the servant he is spending some alone time with his creator he is alone with his creator وَيَقْطَعُ الْعَلَائِقَ عَمَّا سِوَاهُ and he cuts ties with everything and anything besides him فَيُسْتَحَبُّ لِلْمُعْتَكِفِ أَنْ يَتَفَرَّغَ لِلْعِبَادَةِ so it's recommended for the person performing i'tikaf to devote himself to worship فَيُكْثِرُ مِنَ الصَّلَاةِ so increases in prayer وَالذِّكْرِ remembrance وَالدُّعَاءِ supplication وَقِرَاءَةِ الْقُرْآنِ reciting the Quran tawbah seeking repentance والاستغفار asking for forgiveness ونحو ذلك and so on من الطاعات التي تقربه إلى الله from acts of worship which would draw him closer to Allah so the objective of performing itikaf is to devote oneself to acts of worship to devote oneself and spend one's time building a closer relationship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also in pursuit of Laylatul Qadr so if a person is engaged in acts of worship throughout the ten then he will inshallah most definitely have witnessed Laylatul Qadr while he is in the best, engaged in the best acts of worship. Which is why it's advised for a person if he's uh, someone who is addicted to using the phone that he leaves his phone at home, that he stays away from his phone because he might be leaving his uh, yani friends physically but if he brings his phone then he hasn't left anything to be honest. He will be engaged in those phones if he's someone who is addicted to it. So, i'tikaf is something which gives a person the opportunity to cut off from bad habits, such as uh, laziness, such as uh, bad friends, such as smoking and so on. Because you can't engage in these things while you're in the masjid. You will be shy, your shyness will prevent you, other people around you. And you're in the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How uh, can a person engage in, in these acts, illicit relationships, smoking, abandoning, abandoning salah? Uh, speaking evil, swearing and slandering and all of this stuff it's shame, shameful for a person to be engaged in these things in the house of Allah let alone while there's people around and in the in the hadith of the man who killed 99 men the advice that was given to him is go to a land that's uh, such and such a land where people worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and worship Allah with them showing to us that when you're in a good environment it brings the best out of you you improve and many people I've witnessed uh, friends even myself have improved yani, and changed their life just by performing itikaf one itikaf that they attended and their life took a better uh, direction after that طيب. so this is what we encourage ourselves and if a person is able to perform itikaf throughout the 10 if not as we mentioned previously even one night even one day within uh, the last 10 then you have performed the i'tikaf inshallah and likewise it's advisable that a person he looks for a good masjid to perform his i'tikaf in a masjid that adheres to the sunnah so as to avoid any innovation and any unnecessary confrontations in those masajid which are not uh, adhering to the sunnah and so on طيب, so this is the mustahabbat that a person he should be busy with worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the whole point of i'tikaf is to devote oneself and strengthen one's relationship with his Lord. ما يباح للمعتكف Those things which are allowed for the mu'takif to engage in. And the point of this section is to clear misconception, mis- any misconceptions that people might have. Because some people, they might assume that if you're performing i'tikaf, khalas, you can't talk to anyone, you can't leave the masjid at all, you're uh, yani in uh, solitary confinement, khalas. You can't go anywhere, you can't do anything. So the point of this is to clear these misconceptions. The authors say, وَيُبَاحُ لِلْمُعْتَكِفِ الْخُرُوجُ مِنَ الْمَسْجِدِ لِمَا لَا بُدَّ مِنْهُ It's permissible for the mu'takif to leave the masjid for 
things which they have to for necessary. If there's a necessary need to leave the masjid, then you're allowed to leave the masjid. كَالْخُرُوجِ لِلْأَكْلِ وَالشُرْبِ Such as leaving the masjid in order to eat or drink. If the food is not served in the masjid, they only serve it outside, then you can leave to go and eat and drink. إِذَا لَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ مَنْ يُحْضِرُهُمَا Especially if you don't have someone to bring you food. Some people, they don't have anyone to bring them food in the masjid. So they have to leave in order to buy or eat food outside. طيب. So if the masjid doesn't allow people to eat inside the masjid, they should really, most masajid, uh, yani do allow people to have food in the masjid. But if you have to leave for food and drink because this is something which is necessary, then you're allowed to leave. وَالْخُرُوجِ لِقَضَاءِ الْحَاجَةِ And to leave the masjid in order to uh, relieve your need, toilet needs. وَالْوُضُوءِ مِنَ الْحَدَثِ And to perform wudu from the minor ritual impurity. وَالْغْتِسَالِ مِنَ الْجَنَابَ And to have a shower from the sexual impurity or major impurity. So you're allowed to leave if there's a need. If there's no need, you have to remain in the masjid. And the word to highlight here, if there's a need. If it's necessary, then you can leave. An example of that also, something which is necessary, is if a person is performing a tikaf in a masjid, which establishes the five obligatory prayers, but it doesn't establish the Jum'ah, then you're allowed on Fridays, if you're in a tikaf, to go to another masjid to fulfill the Jum'ah prayers in that masjid. Because it's wajib for a man to observe Jum'ah. If it's a woman, then it's not wajib upon her. Likewise, they said that, uh, some of the scholars they mentioned that you can't even leave to go and visit the sick person or to witness the janazah because these things are communal obligations it's not wajib upon you as an individual this is why Aisha radiallahu anha when she was in itikaf as uh, reported by Bukhari a Muslim she used to go tend to her needs and then return and sometimes when she was returning she would go past the house knowing that there's a sick person there she wouldn't stop she would just be uh, while she's walking back to the masjid, she would re- inquire about their condition, ask about them while she's walking. She wouldn't stop to have a, uh, a speak and have a conversation. So you're only allowed to leave the masjid if it's necessary. If it's not necessary, you have to um, remain in the masjid. And it's also permissible for Mu'takif to speak to others in things which have, are of benefit. وَالسُّؤَالُ عَنْ أَحْوَالِهِمْ And to ask about them, their condition. أَمَّا التَّحَدُّثُ فِي مَا لَا يُفِيدُ As for speaking about things which are of no benefit. وَفِي مَا لَا ضَرُورَةَ فِيهِ Or things which are necessary, like dunya, work, and these unnecessary things. فَإِنَّهُ يُنَافِي مَقْصُودَ الْإِعْتِكَافِ Then these go against the whole objective of اعتكاف. وَمَا شُرِعَ مِنْ أَجْلِهِ And that which it was legislated for. Which is to spend time in, de- in devotion to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and engaging in adhkar. So, uh, we're human beings, we're weak. Being, uh, yani, if you have to just worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know, without uh, relaxing and so on, it's going to be difficult. As a mu'takif, you're allowed to speak, you're allowed to take some rest. You can do different acts of worship. Look, if you're, if you're tired of praying, you can engage in adhkar while you're sitting down, lying down. You can listen to Quran if you can't read. Make tawbah, make istighfar. Even your sleep and your rest, you can intend that to be an act of worship. If the, the reason why you're sleeping, you're taking that rest is because you want to energize the body so that you can engage in uh, acts of worship. That itself, that time you're sleeping, you can be rewarded for it. As Ibn Mas'ud used to say, أَحْتَسِبُ نَوْمَتِي كَمَا أَحْتَسِبُ قَوْمَتِي I uh, seek reward in my sleep the same way I seek reward in my standing in prayer. So a person should be uh, yani, looking for the best intentions in the things that he does so if a person is tired reading he should recite the quran if he's tired reciting read a book or listen to something beneficial or speak to someone uh, matters that are beneficial uh, so you can vary the acts of worship uh, to suit yourself so that you're not you don't become bored and and uh, leave off acts of worship so you're allowed to speak you're allowed to speak but these things should be things which are necessary and of benefit. طيب. وَيُبَاحُ لَهُ أَنْ يَزُورَهُ بَعْضُ أَهْلِهِ وَأَقَارِبِهِ And it's also permissible for his family and relatives to visit him while he's in itikaf. So if, if the person is visiting is a male, then obviously they can enter the masjid and sit down and conversate with the person. If it's a female, then perhaps she stands outside from the window and he comes close to the window within the masjid and they have a conversation or speak whatever they need to speak about uh, like that 
وأن يتحدث إليه ساعة من زمان. So the family member can come and visit and they can have a conversation for a period of time. و... والخروج من معتكف لتوديع. And he's also allowed to leave his place of seclusion inside the masjid and escort them out within the masjid. He should remain within the masjid, not leave the masjid. So he can leave his place of his tent basically and come out and escort them to the door. And the evidence for this is the hadith Safiya. The wife of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, قالت she said كان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم معتكفا فأتيت ليلا. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was performing itikaf, so I came one night. فحدثته and I was speaking to him. ثم قمت then I got up فانقلبت and I returned. فقام معي ليقلبني so he stood up in order to escort me out. The hadith put by Bukhari and Muslim. ومعنى ليقلبني and the meaning of ليقلبني is يرد يردني إلى بيتي in order to escort me and return me back to my house. The houses of the wives of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم were adjacent to the masjid, so he didn't leave the masjid to go and walk her home. He at the door he escorted her and she went home. طيب وللمعتكف أن يأكل ويشرب وينام في المسجد. It's also permissible for the معتكف to eat, drink, and sleep in the masjid. مع المحافظة على نظافة المسجد while taking care of the uh, preserving the cleanliness of the masjid وصيانته and uh, taking care of them preserving it similar meanings طيب so these are the مستحبات the recommended acts as well as the allowable acts for the معتكف while he is in اعتكاف بارك الله فيكم سبحانك اللهم بحمدك شهد الله لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك